So, I mean, Rohit, we work together already. You, uh, you, one of our partners, you're one of our devros. We love having you around. Um, I see you're wearing a piece of sweatshirt too, which is great. Um, so why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah. So I'm Rohit. So I have worked with uh, multiple companies in the DevOps and MLOps AI kind of a background. Uh, where I worked on like LLMs, uh, Cloud Native. I'm also known as a CNCF ambassador by CNCF, as well as Google Developer Expert for Google Cloud, and uh, worked with companies like Solo, Servos, and etc. Uh, I also worked at Oracle for SRE. So yeah, coming from the diverse background, uh, like I know like what should be the good tools to work on and what not, and. Uh, after that, I worked as a developer, developer advocate, developer relations kind of role, and uh, where I advocated my company's projects everywhere, uh, like open source and stuff. Uh, but after that, I started DevRel as service, where like I worked with multiple clients for like DevRel services and stuff. So that's all my experience and all about me. You can find me all over, like uh, known as a de that DevOps guy on Twitter and. Uh, Substack and stuff. So yeah, highly recommend having Rohit as a uh, as a partner. So if uh, anyone's watching this video and wants a DevRel, call him out. <laughs> um. Yeah. So okay. So you started using Pieces. Um. How long ago? What what what? How did you find about out about Pieces to begin with? Yeah. So uh, I found out Pieces but like two months back. I guess two months mm -hmm. back. Yeah. Uh. That time. Uh. I saw like last time between the. Uh, Sayya, uh, sorry, uh, Shivai and Kunal, and yeah. I was fun like watching how it is actually that time. Uh, Copilot was a new feature, I guess. Uh, so it was not that in live stream, but yeah, I saw like how it's free and uh, it's like I'm paying for chat GPT and uh, yeah. like perplex, uh, sorry, uh, Claude and all. So when I come to know like it is free. I just went and tried it out and it was like smooth and nice experience. So that's how I come to know about uh, uh, like uh, our co-pilot and stuff. And, uh, For sure. and I guess uh, then we also did a lot of stuff together. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So you you were a pretty avid like chat GPT user before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where did you find any like particularly good things or limitations about previous tools before you started using pieces that alleviated it at all? Yeah, so one thing is like uh, live contest is like one of the nicest <laughs> thing to have, but uh, we will come to that later. But uh, if we talk about other things, it is save saving the code snippets is an amazing feature. Like we can save the code snippets and use it later, as well as it can easily detect if I want to know any code I have written previously and I have to just ask like, I was writing something around this this technology, this this syntax, can you remember? Uh, do you remember? Can you uh, show it to me or something? And it will directly show it to you. Uh, so that is an amazing feature. And after that, it is simple to use for sure. And we, we just have to integrate anywhere like VS Code or we have like anything we are using, right? So we just have to integrate it and it works. Other than that, uh, so yeah, they, these are the things which I liked a lot. And then there is the live context. We just have to uh, like switch on the WP or live context. And then whatever I'm researching on Google or anywhere, it, it, it just detects everything. And if after two, three hours or like one day, two days, like three days passed and I want to ask them, like I was researching on like uh, a comparison between the uh, chat CPD and Gemini API. So do you know like uh, what was the benchmarking and also it will directly give me everything like what I was <laughs> researching about. Uh, like yeah. when, when I went to like to, uh, 2030 research papers, uh, when I was working for something particular to DevOps and Cloud Native, sustainability kind of a project, it remembered like what I was going through. So it is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's like the best possible use case I can hear. It's like, you're, you're all over the place. You're doing all sorts of research, but you're trying to solve this one problem and yeah. thesis has captured all that for you and can help lay it out. So exactly. that's awesome. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that's great. <laughs> I don't know. Is there, what else do you, what else do you typically, um, use it for other than research? Is there anything else? 
so one thing is like uh, which I also uploaded a video on Twitter where like I was talking to my friend and uh, like let's say you are working on uh, some project uh, in company with colleague right and you are discussing something uh, uh, like let's say I'm working on some uh, migration project cloud migration mm -hmm. project. and when I'm talking to my colleague who is also my friend uh, like uh, can you can you solve this error i'm stuck here uh, you might be working with the kubernetes orchestrator or you might or you might be working with the containers docker and stuff and you are facing some syntax error and stuff and if you have like senior colleague and senior manager who, who, which uh, which helps a lot to you right so but he will only point you or uh, he or she will be pointing you to some uh, resources or some uh, some blogs or something and not directly showing you answer so yes you can direct uh, you can uh, this chat you can uh, you don't have to save it anywhere or something if your live context is on you can come to your uh, pcs uh, app or something if you have it on desktop or vs code anywhere and you just have to ask like yeah uh, uh, like i was talking to my colleague and you can name them like john or something uh, and we were discussing particularly some docker file or something can you uh, remember them and uh, explain me what how i can solve this error and what i'm facing so it will directly give you the answer by going through that uh, blogs or something so it is like, amazing right it is like my assistant <laughs> that's a really good one i actually haven't I, I i haven't heard that specifically said by someone yet um i'm sure people are using it but when someone like wants you to go solve a problem and they gave you some background and then you just take whatever background they had and then also use the the power of the the local model or the or the cloud model yeah that's a that's such a good use case that's a good yeah. find yeah i love that you call it a personal assistant i i i find pieces coming becoming just the exact same thing it's just anytime i need something it's there with me and i just i'm so grateful for it yes yeah. what uh what do you think we could do to make it better what else could we do? Yeah, so of course, there is some things which can be done better in future. Uh, like as it's like as company grows and stuff, like because always there is some restrictions and all. So uh, I think it takes a lot of, uh, sometimes it uh, takes a lot of memory of my computer. Yeah. So if my machine is not like, means I have like 64 GB RAM, but someone is having like, 10 or 12 GB, if I 8 or 12 GB RAM, they might be facing problem at that time when they are dealing sure. with a lot of uh, research papers, a lot of Chrome tabs and all. So that time they will face problem. But uh, other than that, one thing is like, uh, I guess it is still not there, like images uh, embedding and stuff, right? So if that can be added in the future, we go in that way, there are some alternatives like GPT-4 and uh, like, uh, chat gpt is the then perplexity is there they uh not a perplexity but a cloud and all they have the image embeddings and all so if that can be added then it will be amazing like we can just have like image embedding here and we can ask any questions uh when it goes to the image to text and stuff uh so yeah only that two thing i require and that was something no only these two is like i think it is like must have in the future, but that is not a uh, like big thing. You can add it like anytime because there are a lot sure. of models available now. And uh, I know like pieces are doing an amazing job. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I'm I'm so glad you think so. That that's a good point. That's definitely like um, a, an addition that to achieve parity with the existing uh, tools out there and to make them even better. So I I think that's a really good. And I appreciate you bringing up the resource, uh, the use. We we are constantly working on that because. I mean, being on device, it does take a lot of resources and we tr we do that for a reason to because we're privacy focused, but that just because we have to be inclusive to all of our users, right? Like yeah. the we have to allow everybody to be able to use it. So um, I know Mark is working on that constantly and trying to get that yeah. performance yeah. level up for sure. If possible, like if possible, there could be more uh, open source models to be added in the uh, like, uh, I mean, like, our pieces because there is like only not that means like whatever things are there they are enough but still if like someone is like uh doing uh like a lot of research work or they are 
working on companies use cases and stuff then they they would love to have like different different models there because every model has different different use case as a powerful benchmarking so mm-hmm. if there is like a lot of open source models as option in the pieces then i don't think anyone can compete <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, I I agree. Cool. Well, Rohit, this is awesome. This is great feedback. Um, I, the last thing I want to do is get your thoughts on like maybe the direction we're thinking about going. So right now, um, live context is amazing in that it understands what you're doing um, and can kind of bring all that context into a conversation, but you still have to ask for it, right? You have to have a co-pilot conversation. Um, so the direction we want to go is a more proactive way of assisting you. So it w- we would call it the feed. And as you're working, it's a little guy on your, like the side of your screen and it's starting to suggest things. Like as you're working, it says, hey, this looks like something you've been working on. Here's some related persons. Um, here's some of this context that you can use here and hopefully starting to surface what you need as you need it. What do you think about that? Uh, it is like kind of a small uh, uh, assistant chatbot as a like mm-hmm. vamp- small uh, okay uh, it will be nice thing to have but if there is a developers right so mm-hmm. developers are kind of uh, strict towards using like this because they have uh, it's like developers don't like someone to teach them <laughs> when they are working on something like let's say we are on vs code they are writing some code right and if someone is bugging them like you you should not use, you should use this <laughs> So then it will be a problem for sure. But uh, this will be amazing use case. I Means if, if there is a turn on and turn off, of course, then it will be a really amazing feature because uh, it will really help when I'm doing some, I'm going through some blogs or white papers and stuff. And it will actually emb- uh, recommend me like uh, that. It also similar research paper I found on the internet. Can you, uh, if you mind, you can check it out and all. So that time it will help. But if someone is writing code, and uh, like there is some person who is asking them like don't use this don't uh, use this and all then then i think that, that might be a problem but yeah if that is be annoying. Problem, then no problem yeah. i like that that's excellent feedback we don't want to become the next clippy you know where it's like bothering you all the time you want the right information at the right time and then i love the idea of like a, a do not disturb kind of mode i think that's excellent because yeah. you're right i mean that that's Great perspective, right, from a developer. If you're in the zone, you're in the zone. Don't take them out of the zone. Yeah. Cool. Okay, that's awesome feedback. All right. Well, is there anything else you want to tell me today? Because this is, this is great. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's all. Like, uh, um, it's like uh, it was fun chat. And uh, if I'm using some tool and someone asks for the feedback, I'm always available for it. <laughs> if I don't use it, then I, I never goes on call like this and talk about it. So, yeah. For sure. I really enjoyed working on it and uh, I it's like like this tool to use and I also use like other AI tools so uh, but only few and I pay to some of them so this is free and available for everyone so why not to use yeah for sure all right well thank you so much Rohit this has been awesome thank you